Guys, Puppy's World. Um, got a little bit of a product right here that he is near. And we bring it into the light. We'll enlighten you, if we will, so to speak. Um, but so yeah, you can tell Big Bird's already tracked him down. He's got his uh, seal of approval on it, but <clears throat> we don't have uh, my seal of approval on it yet. I know, Big Bird, you're getting, you're getting your uh, stuff on it. Oh God, maybe I shouldn't have him doing this, but so just to bring you into the light to enlighten you a little bit, we are, are, um, we are relinquishing. The heck is that there? God, that stuff pisses me off, but we are relinquishing um, ownership of our Emotiva CMX2 common mode filter. And now, is there a Gen? Does that actually say, yep, Gen 2? So this would have to be specifically, um, and you can see it's kind of, it's, what is that? Is that a, wow, that looks like it is actually, that looks like it is actually, engraved there yeah the gen 2 but that's that's what's so great about this thing guys that's why i do the video of it the precision ac line restoration and common mode filtering you know so it'll it'll just filter your 60 hertz hum anything generated by ac current that makes noise but with the led lights here so you're just supposed to know if your line's correct open ground i mean line always sits correct you know, if you want to know if your line's not correct, do you need a line monitor to help you? <laughs> no. This is for people who might be using stuff like um, AC outlets that they just put in. That would actually come in, a, come in handy if you had just installed that Leviton Hospital Grade self-grounding outlet of mine or the Pangea AC um, outlet. That This probably would come into play. But when I've got my Pangea... AC outlets. I've got them to a self-grounding, um, a self-grounding, um, situation in there on its own panel. And so that's what I did. That's why I did that, guys. And I wasn't able to do it over here. Um, so I kind of had a little fail for that. That's why my installation isn't done yet. But, um, yep. What are we getting? About 119? Yep. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and get... Give her a deep plug. Oh, I did not like that. That actually happened there. Wow, yeah. See, the stuff like that's going on, you know? So when that happens, I might want to upgrade to a new power cord someday. But, monster, you can't see that, but it's a fixed. So, let's go and unplug that stuff for a little while. Um, we'll, be able, we'll, we'll definitely use this, but on this outlet, though, guys, yeah, I was able to do um, separate panel uh, separate panels the way you want to go. Um, why? I haven't done this outlet itself yet. This outlet is pre-hot-wired um, to that panel per basement. Um, but in the other room, the two-channel listening room, the vinyl room, the Ortofon 2M Red and all that, the vinyl two-channel listening room, I was not able to do it in here either, unfortunately. Hey, no, 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 no. You get down from there. But I wasn't able to do it um, in the bedroom, unfortunately, because of that crappy outlet. So we left things the same in there. Leviton, hospital grade, self-grounding, $10. Well, it's more like 15 20 bucks for that outlet. But um, So that is why, and I'm going to just close up my uh, computer here, guys, real quick. I'm going to pull them out, and then I'm going to open up my... Uh, my uh, Vinyl drawer real quick, and uh, we'll get a peek at that outlet we're putting in. Yep. So here's my vinyl drawer. Um, I got like a little patchwork and stuff there. I was doing stuff earlier on it. Mm -hmm. Here's some patches, but um, uh, is that the Pangea or? So this is the Leviton, not the Pangea. The Pangea I got red just to compare. Um, and that's already installed. So we're getting phenomenal results off the Pangea. And we are, whoop. Kitty says goodbye. <laughs> Thank you guys.